Okay, we're really? back. And now I I did the last one, so it's back to Hayden. Hayden, you're first to well, start again. Say, what? Can we just say that this is part two of like? Oh, they'll know. Our... Okay. Okay, so we're good. Yep. Okay. Okay, Hayden. so what I think is gonna happen is I think they're gonna make Nintendo Land two because they talked about having those Nintendo theme parks. So I think they might implement that into a game in some way. The second one. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say a second one. Maybe, like, DLC to the first one, but I'm not sure they go as far as the second one. I don't know either. It would be interesting. Because uh, the original one was more of, like, a tech demo, I guess, to kind of show the system what? off and kind of hint at other things coming, but I think they could actually make, like, an actual game of it. It's a little bit more. Yeah, it's, like, it's, more or less, it's more or less like an out-of-a-box game, like Re Sports was. Yeah, but yeah kind of like that. that, yeah. Like, do you want to? I here's my theory on like why Nintendo World and Universal is gonna happen. It's because like they, they used to have like a bunch of Marvel rides, but since Disney bought out Marvel, I bet they have to replace all those Marvel rides. Probably they have to now. Yeah. Yeah, and what better way to do it than with Nintendo rides? So, or you know, yeah. because they got that deal. From True. It. Well, I, I think so that's going to be interesting to see what they do. Yeah. Not, not, we're not against it. I'm not really against it. It's just whatever they want to do. Oh, no, I'm, I'm for Nintendo Land. It's just, I don't know, the same park as Universal. That might cause some controversy with others or might maybe like licensing issues as well, but I don't know. Well, it's your turn, Derek, I think. Yep. I, I mean, I, don't you want to go in uh Okay. Anyway, I, I guess, I know you don't want to talk about it, but I kind of want to bring up some Smash Bros. DLC stuff. I feel, I know that we got a big dump on it on Saturday, and I I know I said Saturday because, let's face it, everyone knew what was going to happen on Sunday because of the leaks. Yep. You know, how we got Lucas, Roy, yeah. and Ryu. And let me just state right now, I, I'm going to download Lucas, not sure about Ryu, no way in high Derek, heavens. Derek, you don't want to download Kamina? This Shoryuken uh, is I, the Shoryuken uh, that will pierce the heavens. I, I said I was gonna. I I said I thought about a uh, Ryu. I'm not gonna do Roy because Roy is stupid. To be fair, I don't like him in his own game, but he's still a better lord than Lucina. Shots fired. Ha! <laughs> I don't like her, and I never will. Sorry, Derek. To be honest, uh, well, I don't know. Like, who cares? You know, because. I, I never really cared about the Fire Emblem series. Because, I know, another Nintendo series that I've not delved into that much. Casual. Oh, who cares? Derek, anyway. you are a bit casual scum. I'll be sure to have t uh, Rog in the video. <laughs> Who's Rog? You'll find out when the video's up. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so, I know we just got a bunch of DLC content, and, you know, I'm... I'm satisfied with it. Like, it's not good, it's not bad, it's just kind of in the middle for me. Anyway, I, the one DLC I hope we get, since we talked about this earlier, is a Wolf DLC. Because, like, what what better way to introduce Star Fox, or right after Star Fox, than with the Wolf DLC? Because people have been asking for it, since, you know, Lucas is coming back and all. Yeah. I mean, what are your, I don't know... That'd be guys? cool if like, Snake came back too. I don't think they'll get Snake, especially with the way things are going for Konami. Yeah, yeah. Konami's kind of going downhill. I mean, aren't they going to focus more on like iOS apps and Pachinko machines Probably. and Yu-Gi-Oh cards? So Hayden, are Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> still safe? Good. <laughs> Unless like Yu-Gi-Oh -Oh goes digital. Oh well, does that really make a difference for Hayden or I? We play well, digital anyway. I just well, anyway. Good point. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Anyway. My turn? And then, oh. well, I was just about to say, like, the Smash ballot and everything, like, that's still up in the air, so there's still plenty Wait, of room. Wait, is it still open, or did they close it? I thought they closed it. So they closed it in October. And I just want to say right now, like, the three players I really want for Smash Bros. right now is Professor Layton, um, Rayman, and Shovel Knight, so... I'm going for um, Phoenix Wright, Bayonetta, and I doubt it'll ever happen, but Lloyd Irving. 
Yeah. I mean, I doubt Professor Layton would happen either, but I, I still hope. I mean, because I got Hayden? Lucas already. I would love Wolf, but I think that is a that's a given. Maybe I don't. I think they'll make maybe three more DLC characters and call it a night. Mm, the only one that what that has been said is like Madarasu. Oh, that would be interesting. Oh, well, that could oh, yeah, happen Madara. because well, like with Bayonetta, Platinum Games is basically in bed with with Nintendo right now. Oh, oh Bayonetta yeah. <laughs> in bed with Nintendo. <laughs> and, and then oh god. Know, I mean, a Matarasu is a Capcom character. Yeah, we basically, the, the only it. thing that holds it back is Hideki Kamiya, the guy who's made them both. Which, I, I no doubt he would give approval. I think he says he'd like it, too. Bayonet, at least. I don't know about a Matarasu, but it depends what Nintendo wants. Mm. Yeah. So. And I guess another character that I kind of want, but I know it's probably not going to happen. Well, I really want, but I know that's probably not going to happen, is Banjo-Kazooie. I mean, the creator said on Twitter, like, he loved Banjo Kazooie in the, um... He can't do it. ...game. Or, I wouldn't say the creator, but, like, a Microsoft representative. Yeah, but... So. It's... That's too... That's too, uh, you know... Yeah. It's complicated. So, I guess all I have to say is, I know we got a bunch of DLC glut on Sunday or Saturday or whatever, but I feel like there's still room to introduce some hey, more Hayden, Smash Bros. DLC. You know who I want in Smash... Yeah. Goku. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, Actually, we kind of already have Goku and no, we don't. We have Gohan. Uh, Ryu, Ryu's alt. Ryu's one of Ryu's alt is like. But he's voiced by Gohan, Goku right, Hayden? True. <laughs> but and then Frieza is Mewtwo. <laughs> Did you see yeah. the thing I retweeted? It's like, man, I can't believe Frieza and Goku are in Smash Brothers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, but oh yeah, okay. So is that all, or do you have anything else? To yeah, say? that's pretty much that's pretty much it for me. Unless you guys have something. All right. Well, mm, I'm good. Well then, for me, this is the first of my two games where I'm actually saying this. I'm gonna go watch, and I'm actually interested in watching the EA conference. I mean, we all know that EA is kind of a shitty company, but yeah, it know. is. It's the American devil of capitalism, almost. But that's now I'm getting now I'm getting political. I'll stop myself now before I go too far in. Anyway, well, I was gonna say like all they make are Call of Duty games and um, well, they don't make Call yeah. of Duty. That's it. and the Sims. And they still ruin oh, that. Wait, wait, hold on. I meant to say um like sports games. They, no, they also if you were gonna say a, a shooter game, you should have said Battlefield. That's what they make. You know that oh. game where you you get out of a jet. Moving at high speeds, you snipe someone in midair and then take their jet. Wow, <laughs> that's a thing. You have to do that. <laughs> it's called jet swapping. What if the new? But that's what if the new Star Fox game had that? Oh God! You get out of the R wing. You get your blaster out, shoot another person at another R wing, and take it. But anyway, that would be awesome. That would be insane. But anyway, anyway, now you're getting off track. That's not the game I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. The first one, Star Wars Battlefront. I don't know if you do know this already. This year is big for me in movies because I just saw Avengers yesterday and I loved it. Resurrection F, second DBZ movie, is coming up after that. But at the end of the year, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. I am yeah. that one. I hope I have that much fun. But well, the next few years what? we're gonna have like a Star Wars movie every year. Exactly, and I like love it's it. gonna be like. Two two sets of movies. We're gonna have like the main series movies, and then we're gonna have like side series movies. Yeah, but I love. I'm gonna love that. But you two don't seem to like sci-fi that much. Well, no, it's not that I don't like sci-fi. It's just like I, I mean, I don't. Know, I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of Star Wars, but oddly enough, I actually know a lot about the lore of Star Wars too. Yeah. So, but anyway, <laughs> I guess that shows how passive I am. About it. Yeah. The Battlefront, I don't, I have mixed feelings about it because on one hand, it looks great, and but I didn't want to see a cutscene, even if it did use the game engine. I want to see gameplay. They are going to show gameplay, and we'll see just if it's worth the time or not. Because I, I could get that there are no space battles because they're redoing everything from scratch. I could accept that, as much as I like them, but I cannot accept how we only have the Rebellion arc, which is the original trilogy, because. I actually don't hate the the prequel trilogy. 
I think every movie's good in their own regards. I don't think they're perfect. Obviously, they're really flawed. But I'm not going to dismiss them as immediate trash and should never be thought about again. But R- Really? Yeah. I see some value in each of them. Plus, oh. I really do like the show, the Clone Wars show that came out of it. If that well, yeah, the Clone Wars show was pretty good. If the Clone I'm Wars show it. came out while those movies came out, it, everything would have made more sense, and it might have received a little better reception. Not by much, but everything would have felt more natural, or acceptable. Are you, say, are you saying Jar Jar's good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say that the prequels were good, and Jar Jar is exclusive to the prequels. Yeah, movies, but that doesn't so... mean I have to like him. Now you're getting me more off track. So okay, I would sorry. I I honestly like the clone troopers. That's why, I would have loved playing as the clone troopers again, because they're very tragic in a way. But that's more into the movies and show and shit. So, I I'm just gonna wait and see. And if if the gameplay looks good enough, I'll consider getting it. But I don't think I'll pre-order it, even if I could play it a week before, to reenact the Battle of Jakku, which is basically the that, what the battle is that takes place on that planet. That's showing off in the second trailer, but now again I'm delving into the movie, so we'll see about Battlefront. I'm interested in it, but that doesn't guarantee a sell just yet. And plus, EA's in the background, so I shudder. I shudder at every moment. Who knows yeah. what happened? Yep. I mean, nothing really good comes out of EA these days. Yep. The- anyway, Hayden, what's your next game? Alright, I think we're actually going to get more info on Kingdom Hearts 3, or we're going to get a remake of uh, Dream Drop Distance. I don't think that's... Because they usually remake all of the um, Kingdom Hearts games, like the handheld ones. So Isn't I think Dream... they're going to remake Dream Drop Distance for... Like, but would they remake it knowing that this game's already... that 3 is announced, and it's supposed to come soon? Yeah, and it's not Dream sure, Drop but I'm okay with either one. You know, I won't lie. I actually think they might do something Chrono Trigger related because, in their teaser thing, there was a frog's theme from Chrono Trigger. Now, I'm not a fan of Chrono Trigger, but I know a little bit about it, like some of the characters and shit. But so, yeah. who knows? You might not get it, but I mean, you might get Chrono Trigger, which the isn't Dream Drop Distance like really new, like relatively new. It was on the 3DS, man. It came out like the second year the 3DS went out. I think. Yeah, like yeah, it's really good. I heard it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I think it's 2013, but I really liked it. Everybody did almost. Yeah. But I, you know, I I've always wanted to get into the Kingdom Hearts series. It's just I never really had the console mm. to make mm, have I it. I don't make want happen. to. Ugh. But yeah, I can see why people like it. I'm just not big into Square Enix like other people are. <laughs> Even if they are, but... they were once the gods of RPGs or JRPGs, and I love JRPGs, but. Uh, lately, they don't look like they know what they're doing. Isn't that right, Final Fantasy thirteen and the two unnecessary sequels? Ugh. Sorry, Hayden. Yeah, we do know... But we do know three is confirmed, and we should at least keep, keep be getting more info. That's about. one no third game it. confirmed that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Half-Life. No Half-Life 3 ever! Uh, Half-Life 3 confirmed. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I kind of... Um, what? I was just about to say, all I hope for is that in Kingdom Hearts 3, there's a Wreck-It Ralph world. I'd like that, actually. Uh, that would be that would be so. Yeah, I'm sure they do that. They do Frozen, of course. Oh, they're gonna do Frozen, whether we want them to or not. They're Frozen. They're gonna do Big Hero 6. Oh, hey, here's an idea. Awesome. What? If, what if like the Disney Infinity figures play a role in it? I doubt it, but it could poss- it could be possible. But possible. some people want a Marvel world and a Star Wars world. Do you know how complex those two worlds are, especially Marvel? Yeah. Uh, look, by I the mean, time we would have to be getting to the licenses too. So- so. What, okay, once Sora leaves that world and goes back, nobody will remember him. Do you know why? Because they just retconned it again. <laughs> okay, that's enough comic book jokes. Hayden, what else do you have to say about? Kingdom Hearts 3. Any other hopes? Um, no worlds you want? Um, now that I think about it, I actually really do want a Big Hero 6 one. That'd be awesome. I'd want a Wreck-It Ralph world, but... They obviously yeah, can't, awesome. they can't tread into the other games, just stick to the games that they were originally made for the movie. You know, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like that one with that woman sergeant girl, I haven't seen the movie. 
Sadly. Uh, Sorry. What's it called? I don't remember what it's called, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but that world... Wait, which one is it? You know... What movie? Wreck-It Ralph. You know that... No, that's... like, you said I'm like a movie. Like, I'm talking about the games used exclusively for the movie. Like, they're not owned by a company. You know, they made it for the movie. All oh, right. Original like game Duty ideas and, um, that aren't actually... Like that. Heroes Duty and Sugar Rush. Oh, that's what it's called, Heroes yeah, Duty. Some... Like, yeah, they could make worlds based the world based on those games. So, But they just couldn't turn into the other ones. Watch, Sonic becomes the supporting character and wins an, uh, wins an award because of it. <laughs> Oh my god, that would be amazing. That would be hilarious. Alright. Well, anything else, yeah, Aiden? That's it for me. Alright. That's it. All of your games? No, it's it for game parts. Okay. Alright, Derek, okay. you're up. My turn. Okay. Um, I guess while, while I was delving into the topic of, like, Smash Bros. DLC, I kind of want, like, more DLC content as well. Like, um, the indie game Shovel Knight, there's DLC coming for that game too playing as different nights like play, like there's one for Plague Knight called Plague of Shadows I really want to hear more of that because it's been forever since they announced it and we've seen clips of it on their website I just really want to know more about the uh, Shovel Knight DLCs not just Shovel Knight DLCs but like more DLCs for more games like I don't know like there I saw in Tumblr like there is like a Mario 3D World art book and in there was like a kind of a, a portrait of Wario and Waluigi. So maybe that's hinting towards like maybe we'll get Wario Waluigi DLC for 3D World. Maybe. I wonder how they play. So, Wario would have the worst jump. But I bet. <laughs> yeah, Wario I bet he'd have jump, like a but... like a ram attack where he charges into somebody. So jumping won't be too much of an issue when it comes to enemies. He could probably kill piranha plants like that, because you, you, you would have to burn them, usually. Waluigi, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he can walk on water. Waluigi needs more love. He needs more uh, Yeah, sir, seriously. People think, people think Luigi's neglected. Waluigi's... Well, he's the, <laughs> he is the true clone of Luigi, then. And I'm okay with that. Cause I, I, oh, sorry, man. man. I don't care about Waluigi. Aww. He is way too overhyped by the fans. <laughs> but Waluigi... Because he's not into anything. Good. <laughs> but have you seen him the in... The salt from um... Waluigi for me is real. <laughs> have you seen him in Mario... Or the new Mario Golf game? He is amazing. I like Bowser in that one where he does the finger sass and the uh. Oh, oh my god, have you seen Waluigi's victory themes? He does like... um. Yeah, I've seen them. Well, he does a flamenco dance with a rose in his mouth, and it's oh, just yeah. hilarious. Oh, dear God. Oh, my uh, God. It's and remember how much they show they didn't care for Waluigi by not putting him in Mario Kart 7, but putting that Queen Bee instead? Ha! Yeah. They, well, they did put in Waluigi Pinball, so they didn't completely forget Yeah, but about just him, to but... taunt the fans, they put Waluigi Pinball, yeah. and he can't go back to it. Dicks. Oh, uh, yeah. So It's sad, too, because I hear they're not making DLC for Mario Kart 7, which I really want them to. They, but... they won't, because 8 is the big focus. I'm amazed you didn't bring that up. I think they it's might. It's been out for a long time, too. Yeah, I'm... I, was, I was just about to bring up uh, Mario Kart DLC, because, like, there's still more character possibilities. Like, we still don't have Bowser Jr. People want Pac-Man. And yet we have all the Kooplings. Yeah, people want Pac-Man, so... And I heard, I heard rumors, like, there's, um, there's still, like, a few... Like, there's a few cups in the game code that are not used yet. Like, there's, like, a blue shell cup, and there's, like, a boo cup. So maybe that's future DLC right there. That would be fun, but who would they put? Ryu from like, Street Fighter. Like, <laughs> Ryu from Street Fighter. <laughs> um, like, I mean, like we said before, like, Bowser Jr., Pac-Man, um, Queen Bee. Please, no. Um, maybe... I was I was gonna say Captain Toad, but Toad's already in there, so yeah. Wait, hold on. But I don't think. Would surprise me if they part. did put it because uh, they have like. I need, I need to stop Peach the recording for a second. Peach. I apologize for that. I was called out. So Derek, continue what you were saying, or whoever was talking. I don't remember. Yeah, I was, does this mean this is part three now? I guess I don't know if you want to go part three. 
short well, ass I'm just break. Saying, we've been talking for a half hour. Yeah, all right. Well, whatever you want to do, Derek. So tell. Well, so. That's not my decision. Anyway, all I was saying is that we haven't heard the last of Mario Kart 8 DLC. <laughs> They're not done with that game quite. You yet. haven't seen the last of me. Yeah, exactly. You know, now that we also, think, I think Zelda. What if? Oh, her Zelda herself. Of Zelda. Zelda herself. Yeah. Well, speaking about Zelda, the new Hyrule Warriors game for the 3DS. Well, a port of Hyrule Warriors to the 3DS. They are going to talk about mounts. that. They are. That's probably going to be digital. And then. there's going to be Wind Waker DLC for that yeah, game. Yeah, but so no Toon Link. No Toon Link. Uh, Maybe there's going to be a Toon Link skin. I don't know. If if there's a Toon Link skin and he actually voices and acts like him, I'll be okay with that. But I just why would you put the King of Red Lions in Tetra without Toon Link? I'm okay with both of them. Would... I'm glad the King of Red Lions is back because he turns yeah, into a boat. Yeah, he's I not know. on a boat. He you know, he's boat. not on a boat. He is the boat. Yeah. But I mean, I was just about to say, I don't know how can they make a Majora's Mask DLC and not make Skull Kid playable. Wasn't he a villain? And ma- <laughs> well, oh, okay. Well, we have villains in the game. You can play as villains. You can play as Geeker and him and um, Van. But I'm just saying, all we get was like a skin for Lana of Skull Kid, and not actual Skull Kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't know. Is that all? Um, unless I can think of another game that has potential DLC, that's pretty much it for me. All right. Well then. For my second game, then comes from EA. Oh wait, 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 uh, wait, wait! I just, I just thought, no, I just thought of another one. Oh my god! Um, Split, Splatoon DLC. That probably won't because, be shown no! at the uh, digital event. Probably Treehouse. Because like, Splatoon is really popular. Splatoon is really fun. I totally recommend it. So, I mean, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is like maybe we'll get support for like amiibos, not just for like the Splatoon amiibos, of course, but maybe for other amiibos. Like if you tap in the Mario amiibo, you get Flood or something. I don't know. Mario hat, maybe. Yeah, I can see well, them doing just... that, like adding hats and stuff. Yep, because clothing is yeah, exactly. a big deal in Splatoon, is isn't it? Yeah, yeah close close. Give me a it JoJo's Bizarre Adventure amiibo for Dio Brando, so I can get my a steamroller. That's just, that's just me talking about my favorite, like one of my favorite animes of recent. But yeah. anyway, anyway, don't be a hater. That's that's it for me. I that's it for me. I promise this time. Now, as I was trying to say, the other EA game that I'm gonna c- consider, though I don't think this will happen, maybe next year, but there's always the hope. Mass Effect Four. Or whatever they want to call it, because it's gonna. They said when they make this new one, which they are working on, it's gonna not be with Shepard. Obviously, it's gonna be a whole new clean slate and for, with a different story, whole new cast of characters and all that. So, which is a good thing, because Mass Effect, the Mass Effect trilogy. I'm playing one right now on my channel. You know, blind. I like it a lot. I'm gonna play the whole all three games because I got them all on sale. So, shameless advertising out of the way, on my own channel. <laughs> Um, I will. I okay. I hope that they will talk about this new. I will hope they will talk about a new game, but I don't think it will happen. So I can't really say anything because it could take place shortly after Mass Effects one through three, or it could take place centuries after it. You don't know. But I can only guarantee it'll be in space. Of course, space. Mass Effects. Space. Want to go to space? Anyway, Hayden. Don't we all? It's you have to take the space. Take the floor. Continue. Okay, so something I really want to see, and I, I don't know if it'll happen, but it's possible. It's a like a Pokemon Coliseum, Gale of Darkness type of game, but with you know more of the Pokemon from you know. For that to, for that to happen, it, you would have to get the help of Genius Sonority again, the guys that made them, and they I think they actually made Pokemon Shuffle. So. Hmm. That's interesting. So, the company... Pokemon Shuffle is an evil game. It is, especially when you get to the newly added stuff. It's pretty much pay to get the S rank. Like, have you tried... Have you tried Mega Ball Wild, folks? I did, and I... Dude, you haven't tried Mega Mewtwo. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have yet to get there. Dude. It's Mega Mewtwo Y, right? It's Mega Mewtwo Y, and it will shit on everything you stand for. (laughs) 
Oh, God. And not even that far in shuffle. Get good. But yes, it could look really good in HD. Um, you could use like the game pad for you know the moves and stuff. And, exactly. And my, Honestly, and, let's I think it'd be great. let's be honest. What if all RPGs used all of the skill stuff, like all the moves and their names, and all the health stuff on the bottom screen, so you see nothing but the fight on the on the main TV. Yeah. That would look. That would be so great. But. Nintendo won't think of it, or any of the RPG guys, so shame on all of them, but, oh well. I mean, I don't know. We could. I mean, that's still a possibility. Yeah, but I nobody mean, wants to put honestly, a big RPG on there, except for Xenoblade Chronicles X, which I don't think they did that. Oh, oh, I, I have something else to talk about, but I'll talk about it later, <laughs> but going back going back to Pokemon Coliseum and XE Go Darkness, I honestly have a love-hate relationship with that series. Which, by that I mean, I love, like, my love is for Pokemon XD, Gale of, Dark, Gale of Darkness, and my hate for Pokemon Coliseum. I love them both, because Coliseum is so dark, so edgy. Ow, the edge! Not really, but... And, and when I say I love Pokemon Coliseum, that's not saying much. That's like saying I love, um... You just said you hated it. No, I said... Wait. You said you love on. XD, Gale of Darkness, <laughs> but hate Coliseum, right, Hayden? That's what I heard. Okay, okay, I, I meant to okay, I meant to say what I said. I love XD Gale Darkness. That's not saying much. That's like saying I love my, the carrots on the salad or whatever. So, I, I I'm just saying it's it's an it's okay. XD Gale Darkness is an okay game. It's just not. It's just it's I just not edgy really... enough for you, Derek. The edgy no, not bro. that. It's just I didn't really it didn't really hit me as much. Skidedro. As any other Pokemon game, but I anyway, get you, but I digress. I, which is ironic because I did a let's play of Coliseum. And now I'm plugging myself. Hayden, uh, now you have to do one. But that's the, I'm pretty sure you might talk about Mario Maker, and that's the perfect time to say, send me le videos to do my revamped Mario <laughs> Kaizo Mario. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I was just thinking. During a Nintendo World Championships, like when Mario Maker comes out, I would start like a little series on my channel and be like, "Hey, send me your videos. I mean, send me your courses, and I might do them or something. I don't know." Yep. And Hayden, th the maps I would yes. make for you, I know you well, no, and I... I know how to frustrate no. you. No. And, no. Imagine all the ones that with uh. With uh, they send their proton John, are <laughs> all fucking pokies and like a hundred seconds on the clock. <laughs> Look faster, pokey. But uh, okay, so who who else was ta who was on the floor right now? I think it was. Aiden was. Yeah. He was talking about. Yeah, Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon uh... Yeah. Okay, because Derek was talking I mean, I mean, about it. I thought he was on the floor. I was like, wait, was it nah, Aiden? it was me. Okay, so. I would be down for another. You know what I don't know? You know what I hope but... for? Wild, random encounters in in Pokemon. How can you not, how can you do it on the handheld, but not on the, on a console? Yeah, on the console ones, yeah. So, but I have something with Pokemon, but I guess I have to say it now. Because you for you forced my hand, Hayden. Sorry. Go on. Well, go ahead. No, but Derek, it's your turn. Oh. Well, you brought something up that I, I kind of want to see more of is um, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I want more of that game because I played Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and I loved it. When does that come out? What? When does it come out? X. don't know. It came out. In, um, it's out in Japan. Yeah, it's out in Japan right now. It comes later, like a couple months here. But I kind of want—I want to hear more about. We're or, probably gonna hear a dub. Out, We're gonna hear a dub trailer. Like you know, they got the—they should have the voice actors by now. Yeah, yeah, I hope they're all English, like in the last game. There are. They have to be. Well, yeah, or else it wouldn't work. Yep. But I mean, I don't know it, because Xenoblade Chronicles X is like a spiritual successor to Xenoblade Chronicles, but. I mean, it looks really interesting. I just want to hear more about it. What happened That's through all. one through nine? <laughs> Hated gets it. Oh, Hated I, gets oh, I, it. I, I, I get. I get it. I get it. <laughs> well, technically, what I'm... happened to two through nine? Not one through nine. One is the first Xenoblade. 
I, I, I so basically, you. the only thing... What? Speaking about 10, Final Fantasy 10 1 and 2 if, like, They're... come in a bundle patch for, like, I think PlayStation 4? Maybe? I don't know. They, no, they came out in a bundle patch for the PS3 and the Vita. Oh. It's a steal for the Vita users because taking a good RPG on the go so fun. Why do you think I have Persona 4 Golden? And Portable. Persona 3 Portable. But anyway. Like, what? I've said, I I think I've said this before, I have never played a Final Fantasy game. Ne neither have the I. Only one I. I mean, the only one I've ever watched was Nintendo Capri Sun's Final Fantasy X Let's Play. Did he make fun of the Titus so. laugh? Of course he did. Did he do it? I want to know if he did it. I think he made one of Titus's and Waka's. Because, huh. like, there's one point in the story where Waka laughs, and he actually made fun of it during, um, Twilight Princess 2, but I digress. Alright. Is that all? Or do you have more? Yeah, that's pretty much all it. Alright. Xenoblade Chronicles sucks for me. I gotta talk Pokemon now, because Hayden forced my hand. What a good friend. <laughs> anyway. I try. Yep. Oh my god, do I try. I try all the time in this institution. But... <laughs> Now I then, pray. you brought up Pokemon, but I, as much as I would love for that to happen, Hayden, I have to say that won't happen, because you know why? Why hasn't nobody thought about this? This year is the 30th anniversary of, um, of, of Mario, but next year, if I, because I think, my, my, you know James and Nicola, right? Yeah. They told me that next year is going to be the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah! So, uh, what, what better what time saying, like... to announce a Pokemon game for next year than now? They're gonna. What are you saying, like... I don't know what it'll be, so I don't have much to say. But it's gonna be something big, because they're gonna basically bring it all together, first through sixth gen. I'm not saying uh, all six generations in one, but. Something that will give you that feeling of the beginning, as well as it feeling new, like the 6th gen games. So, uh -huh. I don't know what, I can't say anything, because that's up to what they're, they're thinking. I don't, I'm not saying it'll be Pokemon Z, or X, Y, X2, which would be X squared and Y squared, which, let's not get into <laughs> math, Pokemon has gone algebra. But, I don't know what game it'll be, but it's going to be a main Pokemon game. To commemorate the new and the old. What if it's like, what if it's like a remake of Fire Red and They Leaf will Green? not do that again. They will not. I mean, it could, remake they could. Or remake. They will not. You know, what we, you know what we need? Virtual console releases of the old Pokemon games. Like seriously, why haven't we had that by now? But Derek, saying you want a remake of Fire Red and Leaf Green is like me trying to say I want a remake of Persona 4 Golden on the PS4. That's stupid, oh. and I should know it. Okay, I, I get you, but... I mean, I'm just not... Just be open to the idea, okay? I know, but if it happens, okay. I'll accept it, because the Nintendo's taking my money for it anyway. But I'm just saying, if a new Pokemon game gets announced, call James and Nicola, and maybe a bit of me, a prophet. But we, really, we should have saw this coming. But... Enough about that. Hayden, you're on the clock. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish my list because I only have, like, two more things. All right. So, then, yeah. I've got three. Um, my first one Four. is Portal 3. I really hope Portal happens. I love Portal. Hayden, you... It's been forever uh, since Portal silly 2. Silly Hayden, you know they can't count to three. <laughs> I know, but I want oh. Portal 3! Okay, by that logic, why don't I get Left 4 Dead 3? Though, I heard they're actually working on that. Or Half-Life 3. No, there, there will be no Half-Life 3. The salty fans must forever suffer. They're in purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... God, you are malicious. I am malicious. Derek, I'm not a nice person. I th I've talked to you guys for years. How have you not figured this out? I think you're nice. But everybody else hates me. Just ask my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> okay, that's too personal. Hayden. That's her ex-girlfriend, though. Yeah, but Hay Hayden, share us what you want in Portal 3. Like, any type of characters returning. Um, or... Without spoiling too much of the plot. I'm, just... I'm really 
really not for sure what I want. I just know I want it. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's just hard to figure out like what they could do to improve it. But I mean, you know, new puzzles and stuff. But I really don't know what else they could do. But I want customizable it. <laughs> robots. Like you know, Peabody and what whatnot. Who was the other one? Uh, no, not that I know. Never played Portal. Or like, you can customize your own portal robot. Yeah, or something like that, but and maybe find some way to make new obstacles and stuff like the gel. Oh, like, like basically stuff. a portal dungeon maybe maker. Is that what you're hoping for? Maybe, they kind of did that too. Well, they they should know. do that. Well, they could have made they could make a whole game off of that, like Mario Maker, but who knows. So, do you want to save your last game, or do you just want to go? Because we still have other rounds. I still have four games left. Okay. I'll, I'll save it for later. Alright. So. Derek, you're up. Okay. Okay, something I hope they announce. I don't know if they announce it yet, but Mother 3, like, we seriously... Like, because earlier today we just got an announcement that Earthbound... I mean, not Earthbound. The original Mother is coming to the virtual console. So, what better... I mean, and also Lucas is a new DLC, so what better way to announce... Mo Oh, what a better time to announce Mother 3 than right now, because we already have the first two Earth Mother games yeah. in our midst, so why not complete the trilogy? Mother 3, I... Hey, Rick. The only way... What? The only way we could play it right now is through illegally doing it through an emulator, and Nintendo doesn't want us to do and that. And they know we do that. And I know... Uh, yeah, they know we do that. And I know that bit last year in the Robot Chicken sketch where that guy was just like, "What are you gonna do, a Mother 3? He's like, "Hey, Ridge, Actually, I think come on, Reggie, give us Mother Three. How about this instead?" <laughs> yeah, and I know we, I know he totally shat on us with that, but still, we need Mother Three. I mean, we need to complete the trilogy of that awesome series. I think they'll do it next year, honestly. But hey, you never know. I think they'll do it Tuesday. I honestly believe that. Okay, well, I'd be okay with it, but I can't play it if it's on the Wii U. It's going to be on the Wii U because they want all three games on there and they want the Wii U to sell. They're confident now that the Earthbound Trilogy will sell a few Wii, U Wii U's. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. As much as I'd love to, but it can't. No money. That all, Derek? Um. Yeah, that's all for that topic. All right. It didn't last long. Well, I'll I, I I you kind of said it with Metroid, but I'm generally interested in what Retro Studios is doing. I don't know what they're doing though. Oh yeah, because look, that's they right. could be oh. making the Met next Metroid game, but they could be making the Star Fox game, or they could be making another Donkey Kong game. I don't know. Nope. But honestly, you know, honestly, Retro Studios is one of my favorite studios right now, or one of my favorite. Second party, I guess you would call them second party studios. They kind of are, but I don't know what you'd label them as because they're owned by Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I I really like Retro Studios' work. Like all their games are really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what they'll do. It's whatever they want, but I think they should be announcing a game this year. It's been too long. So we'll see what they got. So I'm sure they will. Yeah, but I just the question is which one? It could be Star Fox. It could be. It could be um, Metroid. It could be Donkey Kong. It could be whatever they want to do. They pre Nintendo will pretty much give them, the, give them the green light for anything but Mario, for now. Yeah, pretty much. But anyway, Hayden, yeah. you're on the clock with your final game. Um, I really want a new Conquer game. It's probably not going to happen because of. Well, I mean, you said Project Spark, and maybe they're like heading towards something. But I hear they're. I really want. Conquer. Actually, I'm hearing they're making a new. Banjo Kazooie. I've heard that. Oh yeah, I'd be okay with that I, too. Would you? I heard rumors. Would you about settle that for that? By if the it, way, assuming it's good and not nuts and bolts yeah, too. I'll take Banjo Three E over Conquer. But I won't <laughs> hey, hated, hated. By the way, what? By the way, go support Ukulele Kickstarter. I know it only has like two days from this recording left, or less than two days. It, but it, it's whatever, already reached its it. goal. It's but a... so, but yeah, that was going to say hated. Ima imagine they announce Banjo Kazooie, but then it's Nuts and Bolts remastered for the Xbox oh, One. God. Oh god, the hatred from the Banjo Kazooie fans. They would all Please, no. leave. They would leave. Yeah. Oh, th that. I am terrible, Derek. I'm sorry. I've insulted you as a Banjo Kazooie fan. 
You monster. Derek, be honest. If they did announce that, how would you feel? I would probably lose all my faith in Rare by that point. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you still have faith in them? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, because... They still have the right. They still have the rights to Banjo Kazooie, so I'm I'm hoping like they do something with it. I don't know. It's slim, but you know it's still hope. All right. Uh, so that so you're you're okay with either new Banjo Kazooie or Conquer Hayden? Yeah. Kionker. <laughs> but uh. If, so that's your last one. So I guess now it's just yeah. me and Derek revolving back and forth. Come on, Derek, debate okay. round. Not really. All right. All right, so my last kind of a Nintendo-esque thing, third-party games, because, like, there's there's a couple I'm kind of interested in right now, like the new Shantae Kickstarter game, you know, the one that's been funded by Kickstarter. So I'm kind of interested in that one, which I hear is just kind of a remake of the first one. But, I mean, I don't know. I hear the Shantae, the Shantae series is a good one, so I'll look forward to that. And, of course, you know, New Shovel Knight game coming out. Or no, it's Shovel Knight DLC. So you already talked about that. Shovel... I know I already talked about it. I just want to bring up that Shovel Knight is an awesome game. Derek. And you should totally buy it. I'll think about it. Well, it's on all four systems now. And it's now, on Steam, so... I think. Or it will be. Yeah, it's on Steam. Well, there it, is. It, is on... it is on Steam. Okay. Well, for me, the next game. I'm going back to the Nintendo stuff. One of them is kind of Nintendo, not really. So but we'll get to one. Fire Emblem If, or the one... Oh. It's Fire FE14, the one that it's coming out this month in Japan, and right. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm not gonna rent on the details entirely. All you the... what? You mean the one with Fire Emblem? Me? Yeah, that's my biggest gripe with it. Hayden, there's a waifu simulator for the game. <laughs> oh, ever, have you two ever yeah. heard of a game? It's a Japan only game. It's called Love Plus. It's a date. Yeah, it's a it. dating sim, but it's more focused on the actual romantic d and dating parts, because it's only on the handheld, like the DS and the 3DS is only. So oh. it's not like those the fan servicey ones that you probably hear from stereotypes. So otherwise, you think Nintendo would let it slide on their consoles? They're squeaky, or they try to be squeaky clean with their stuff. But anyway, there's a th really the, <laughs> they try to. Have you looked on Meverse? You know what I I mean? The company when they make their games, not what the people do. You haven't you seen the online interactions not rated by the ESRV? Yeah, yeah, I, I get. You. But anyway, the thing about that, you can touch them, their face only, with the with the stylus, and that's basically what happens in this game. And you get closer to them because of that. Ah, yes. I was okay with the whole you can build your own uh, castle town however you want and you can sell stuff to um, to other players and you can go to their towns and buy their stuff that you probably don't have so the street pass functionality just got a lot better but I don't know how to feel about the gameplay no doubt I'll get my answer actually next month after the game comes out in Japan because the people will translate it and tell me how the game is but they're going to talk about it here at E3 Probably a new trailer, mm -hmm. but uh. I think I and I, this is what I'm thinking. They're not because in Japan it's split into two games. It's basically Pokemon Black and White, but Fire Emblem Edition. Yeah, which one is easy and one's hard? Yeah, one plays like Fire Emblem Awakening, where there's an open world map. You can go grind as much as you want off screen, and uh, it's it's a lot more casual. But the 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 black game where you take sides with Nor. It has, um, that's the one I'm going to get. It plays like the old ones. In the old ones, you go you go from chapter to chapter. There is no, you can take a break and go get stronger. No, you go. You continue going until you reach the end. So that's, that's going to make things interesting. But that, I don't think that will work here in America as it would Japan. So, and then they, the game's not coming out till early 2016. And they've said, we'll only be talking about games this year and early 2016. And I'm thinking, mm. they want more new 3DS games. So what I think they're going to do is put them both on the same cartridge and make it new 3DS exclusive. Yeah, I hear you. They're going to make... And also, with that Pokemon game I mentioned earlier, I bet you that's going to be new 3DS exclusive. 
they want those things to sell. So enjoy your 3DS while you have it, if you haven't got a new one already. Oh, Pichu DLC for Smash Bros, bro. Derek, oh, Derek, no. But Derek, do you want a new new 3DS or an old new 3DS? Or a used new 3DS? I already, I already have a 3DS. But is, was it a new new 3DS or a used new 3DS? A, it was a new new. Or is, it, <laughs> is it confusing? <laughs> what, what don't you watch? Confusing? Don't you no. watch Balrog? I thought you watched Balrog. He's a YouTuber no. for you. I don't watch Balrog. Do you hate Balrog? He's awesome. I don't even know who he is. I'll introduce it after we're done with this. But <laughs> okay, I'm All done right. with Fire Emblem. If I'm get, I'm skeptical on it, as I am with okay. a certain other game. Well, but I will not speak its name, Derek. Your turn. Are you talking? Are you talking about? Are you talking about the game I'm gonna say next? If you say it, I swear to God. <laughs> Fire Emblem X Shimagami Tensei. That thing could go to hell. I am not buying that fan service weeb piece of shit. More fan service, <laughs> jeez. I am not I getting that. That is pandering to the Japanese otaku fan base, and I hate it. That is uh, not how it should have been. No, no. Yeah, we know, Put it back. We know. Put it back in hell where it belongs. And put it's the people who want it to with them. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just. I was just kidding, Josh. I, I don't really hate it. Them. You're getting my blood boiling already, Derek. Hayden, I've never told you how much I hate that crossover already, and I was so excited. I pulled a complete 180. It's like so excited for this game. Talk about it already. Talk about it now that I've seen it. Put it back. Get rid of it. Don't bring it here. They probably are though. <laughs> <laughs> it can burn in hell. Oh I, I, okay, first off, I was just oh my god, Derek, just just Honestly, say your game, your actual game. Okay, well it's not well it's not an actual game. It's just more or less a concept. Like you'll notice already, I haven't been really I've been talking more about Nintendo and I haven't been really talking about Sony and Microsoft. Truth is, I'm not really expecting all too much from Sony, Sony or Microsoft because like. Judging by their like past experiences, like the past two years, I'm not looking forward to like their conferences because all they talk about is like their new gaming systems and what you could do with it and how it does everything but play games. The games are out now, but well, the consoles are out now, so they have to talk about the games. Well, you, well, you know they're not. They're probably just going to talk about like a new update where it can like make cappuccinos or whatever. <laughs> Damn it, Derek. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. They won't, like, Derek. The last two years have been nothing but the console itself and the hardware. But it's still selling well. Is it, is it though? Yeah, Derek. It's the PlayStation Four has is trouncing both the Xbox One and the Wii U almost combined. Really? So I know well, you love your Nintendo, that? but even at, even I'm look, starting okay. to see the fault okay, in its look. stars. Ha! Look. Let me check on that. Okay. I just, okay, I just want to say, I yes, I am a Nintendo fan, but I'm not like a hardcore, like, I'm not like a Nintendo fan and be like, oh, the other ones suck, Nintendo rules, and yes, I will agree, there are faults with Nintendo, but you have to agree that there are faults with Sony and Microsoft they're, too. They're only selling so, mostly because of their third party games, like Call of Duty, Ass Creed. Exactly! But they're still selling, and that's all they care about. Right, well... How good is the Xbox One selling? It's, it's actually getting better and better every day. Last month, I think it actually sold more than the PS4 for the first time ever. It might do it again. Really? Yeah. I think. Really, I'll be honest. Life, I, I was, I was going to ask this really at the end, but between who's going to win E3 this year, I'm actually thinking it might be Microsoft. I think they're going to really? announce a why lot is, of games. Why is that? I expect a lot of announcements from them. You know, not talk about new games that are coming. I mean, they're going to talk about completely new games because they said we're going to focus on our first-party games this year, and I think they will do it because they're actually rebounding. I'm not saying I support I mean, I them, but I think they're going to take it. I don't know. I'm just not. They're, holding my to me, they're the dark so horse this thoughts. year. They're the dark horse that can steal it. Who is Microsoft? Sony. I expect it to flop because all of its games, its good games, have already come out, like Bloodborne. It's already out. Yeah, I'm. Not, I was never really a fan of like those gothic style games. They're but... dark and edgy because you know, ow, the edge. 
yeah, I mean, again, like I said, I've never been a fan of, like, gothic games. But All right. That's just me. So... Point is, like, while while I do, you know, I will watch Sony and Microsoft conferences, I'm just not going to hold my breath for anything spectacular. I mean, last year, I will admit, with the Sony conference, Sunset Overdrive looked pretty good. No, that uh, was Microsoft. That Oh, God, crap, now I look like an idiot. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, good thing I was here no, to correct so... you. Because if thank, it wasn't me, it would have been 20,000 people in the comments. Not that I get that many people. <laughs> but, so, uh, is that all the games you actually uh, have, or do you have another? Just making sure. Um, actually, I I guess I'll I'll just say one more well, thing. If, I'll just... Because I'll... I have two games left. You have one more, that's perfect. Okay, yeah. Well, anyway, go for it. My, the next game, they haven't formally announced this one, but it should be coming out in Japan this year. The, um, I can't, I don't know how to, s I can't say it because it's in Japanese. I forget what it translates into, but it's basically Ace Attorney, but a prequel. It takes place, like, a, over a hundred years before Phoenix Wright is born, and, you know, being in court. This is, takes place with his ancestor. So, I think it will get formally announced at long last, because it's gonna come here. It's gonna come here to the States, but... That would be interesting. I, I think it's a good time to announce it now, but it should be coming out in Japan by the end of the year, no matter what. Uh, so I, I mean, all I know about it is that it go. They take place. It takes place in Great Britain, actually, and you see Sherlock Holmes. Uh, and they uh, have this, which is weird. Yeah, which is weird because there's already Phoenix Wright versus Professor Layton, which I still have yet to play. And honestly, I've yet to play like any of the Phoenix Wright games. I, well, actually, that's not true. I played like. The first I played Apollo one Justice. On, I, and, no, I played the first one on the iOS. Yeah, I played the, first, the Apollo Justice, and I wish that would come out. In fact, that's another thing. And you know how they had a trilogy? I want them to have a second one to that, where it come. Oh yeah, there's a trilogy on the um, iOS. I might get that. Yeah, but then but again, here's I, what I want. I, kinda... on it. I want um, Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney Investigations, and two, the second game that never got translated and brought over here. Because it, that when that game was supposed to come here, it was already the 3DS's time to come out. That's why they didn't bring it. That and oh. that and Ace Attorney games sells were poor because most people pirated them like assholes. So Ace Attorney fans, you brought it upon yourself. But anyway, I think that would be good, and it's a good time to bring that second game. In fact, that second game will probably sell more because it never came here. So people would be curious to experience it. Right? Makes sense. True. So, I think they could do that. But, I don't know if they will. I'd like them to, but I don't think they will. Anyway, that's my la second to last game. Derek, it's your turn. Okay. okay. I Well, I guess my last game, I guess... Well, I actually have two, but I'll just combine them. Because we're kind of, kind of running long on time. Yeah. But anyway, the other games I'm kind of interested in, not really in. Fallout 4 and Elder Scrolls. Okay, I'll just say it. Good. Because Fallout 4, Fallout 4 has already been confirmed. And, they, you know, I think they're Fallout talking about it right now. Because we're recording. Yeah, they really? just finished. They yeah, did they talk about it or did they announce a game? They already announced it. People are freaking out on Twitter. About, they announced what? Yeah, people, are, people have Fallout announced 4. it. But... No, but I mean, did they announce a, an Elder Scrolls game? Oh, uh, it was some card game thing, I think. An Elder Scrolls know. card game? They're trying to compete with the World of Warcraft card game. Good luck. But, oh yeah, I heard about that. Gosh darn. Hey, that World of Warcraft card game is really popular. It's it's stream worthy, which is surprising. Derek, don't Derek. Well, both of you, since you both play Yu-Gi-Oh, but Hayden more. Imagine if Yu-Gi-Oh had a lot of streams like that World of Warcraft game did. We could be dueling each other on streams, man. <laughs> it, that would be, and I would, that would rage awesome. at Hayden's fucking blue eyes maiden. My brother got that card. And he knows that it should be banned. Blue eyes, man. Hayden, Hayden, don't tell him anything. He needs to suffer the hard way when you duel him. Yeah, well, I need to make I a deck. I don't, really, uh, I don't, I don't have it. Anymore, so. Derek, duel with us just for old time's sake, man. Yeah, dude, you need to download a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. It's so it's it's it's, it's automated, so it, it's not. It knows the rules, man. Like, so we don't. Uh, I'll look good. Yeah. But anyway. So, like I said before, Fallout 4 and Elder Scrolls, even though I'm not interested, especially like in Elder Scrolls, I'm, I guess I'm kind of curious to hear about them. Anyway, that's my last thing. Anyway, Josh, what's your last thing? Go! You know what it is. 
the dark, the newest, the edgiest Persona 5. Be- Atlas right. might talk about it this time because in their little, in the stuff they're giving away, they mention you get a free Persona 4 dancing all night shirt, which I don't care about the dancing game, though if one of my friends gets it, I might get it with her. Because you can play online, I think, so I don't know. Or I'll just get it used. And, and I, there is um, there's a thing where you say take a picture with the with the Persona Five protagonist. So I'm assuming I don't know if it'll happen, but they might have a trailer for Persona Five. We're kind of due on one. We got one at the beginning of the year, like in February. So it's been a while. Yeah. And the game's still slated to come out at the end of the year for Japan, I think. It might have got pushed back into early next year because of because the, they are now adding a PS4 port as well as a PS3. So who knows? I not going I'm going to cross my fingers, but I won't be too surprised like the other Persona fans who I shit on every day because they won't shut up. By other Persona fans, what do you mean? The uh, most of the 3 and 4 who don't like the other franchises like at the main SMT. That and they bitch about fucking Oh, Yosuke's homophobic, or, or they debate Kanji's sexuality, which is just, it's all your opinion and leave it at that. Oh, I sound so terrible, like, but let's not get into that. Like, let's not get into that. I mean, who cares, like, if Kanji's gay or not, I honestly. say he's bi. But it's uh, it's up to you what you think. That's what Atlas said. It's up to whatever you believe, but... Like, does it really matter? Does it take To the fans, it the does, because people? everybody wants canon truth, I guess, but doesn't matter. Uh, Hayden, you've been quiet this whole time. Actually, Hayden, you know how we talked a little bit about Mario Maker? I want to get your thoughts yeah. on that. Because we've watched the World Champ- awesome. You wanted to talk World Championships a bit, so let's just get this last thing out of the way and it on a good note. Talk about the last okay. round of the World Championships because I was so sad that Eager Raptor went down. Not yeah, me. I was honestly, uh, yeah. I was rooting for him and Cosmo, but I'm glad Cosmo got as far as he did. Who the, Although the last who the hell's Cosmo? Yeah, who is Cosmo? Is he, yeah, because Derek thought he's a well-known speed. Runner. Yeah, he runs a lot of games. Derek like, thought he was time, from Super Mario 64. Derek thought he was the guy from Smosh Games. It's like no, 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 it's not him. He's a well-known speed runner. Okay, but um, anyway, Hayden, I want to get your thoughts on the um. On the Mario Maker stage, since you played Kaizo, <laughs> tell me, man, how Derek and I were in a call. We seen that he heard. We were like fucking screaming when they made those jumps in the first Mario map. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. He almost did it on oh the first God. try. First, he overshot it. Then he undershot it, and then he got it right. Yeah. And mm. he, yeah, it's really weird. And me and um, me and Josh thought like during the first um. Um, oh God, that, that saw in the on the ceiling, and there was yeah. a vine going up to it. Me and Josh thought like you had to use that, like you had to use the um treadmill in order to get up to that vine and climb it. Yeah, but it mm-hmm. had no point after but, all. Yeah, it might have been to fool you, and I guess it worked. But or with the bit. room with the four Bowsers. Yeah, yeah like, I fucking died at that. That was so. I funny. thought it was just. I thought it was just three. <laughs> And actually, that's that's not like, that's not Super Mario World Bowser. Yeah, because no. they're using them. They because you can alternate between uh, one, three world and and you. Like I guess they had to accommodate for that. Well, why wouldn't they just use the wor- Super Mario World Bowser then? Yeah, that was some weird Bowser. I'm okay I've with never it. Seen that one I mean, they had to make that. No, that's just remember they one. had to make eight bit versions out of other enemies that are in the other games. Yeah, I like Boo. And um, and those, you know, those spike, uh, buzzy beetles. Yeah. But Hayden, still, I want to know more about the Mario World, from you. Um, I thought it was awesome. It really you, reminded me a lot of Kaizo. How many attempts do you think you know, it would I take for it. you to get it down? I'm gonna um, guess five out of you. Yeah, probably about that. Luckily, um, I don't know if there's taste dates on it. Well, I'll be modest here. Yeah. The the the. I mean, I probably won't need it because you know, kind of. Derek. Only on Kaizo, I think. Derek. 
in Mario 3 World, what? that guy, the first guy, the one who wanted all John numbers, he should have beat it. He ran out of time. Yeah. He was gone <coughs> such a roll. But Oh my god. I was I was just like screwed. It's like, oh my god, he's right there. Yeah. We were like, oh, uh, uh, uh. Like you know how the guys who like with the where are you at? Where are you at? We weren't saying that, but that was basically me and Derek, because it was those jumps were the best part. Because my heart felt like it dropped when it came every time he got to where the pipe was. My heart dropped for a second, or skipped a beat, whichever you want to go with. But yeah, yeah I'm definitely gonna buy it though. The really final wonder. one was a bit anticlimactic oh, yeah. though, because the other guy wasn't doing well. Not his fault. No, yeah, he was still, the, like, on the first section the whole time. Yeah, the, other, the, fifth, the other guy wasn't doing well, and John was pretty much just blazing through it. 420 blaze it. Yeah, no, he, first did, he didn't even die too. once. He didn't die. No, Well, none of them died. It's, I think the only real threatening place is the, uh... Is the, um... What do you call? The underwater world, because... Even if you got hit by those buzz saws at the beginning, that thing kept spawning mushrooms. So you take damage, you can just get another boost and go back and try it again. At least I think it was, because I could swear I kept seeing a mushroom on the floor when that other guy was trying I to jump it. A, I kept seeing a mushroom in that spring room in the world in the Super Mario world. It's like, dude, just get that! <laughs> he didn't. He didn't need it though. Uh, he didn't, but still, it was there, and I was just like, come on. Yeah. But oh man, I, do you have any other thoughts to share about that? Um, no, that's pretty much it. All right, anything out of you, that's Derek? I really all, want. all I know is that when Mario Maker comes out, it's really the birth of Kaizo Mario Maker. Yep, that's what everybody's gonna Maker. make, and I can't wait for Hayden to play it. Hayden, that's how you must return, man. Yeah. You play. That's how we all must return. Yeah, I want to stream it and stuff. That'd be fun. Final. Final Fantasy, Hayden Returns. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible. I don't even care about Final Fantasy. If I played one, I'll play six. But anyway, I think we'll call this we'll well, call this a video. Yeah, well, that's pretty much it. Unless anyone else has something to say, no, I sure I'm don't. Good. I will. All I will say though is that I think this E3 is just going to be kind of underwhelming. I think it's going to. Well, compared to I, I think it's going to be great. I expect. I have high expectations for all three sides I, and EA a little bit. Well, you know what? Well, you know what? I you know what? I kind I, I kind of take back that statement. You better. I think it's, it's exciting. D Derek, you're but a fan boy of Nintendo. You casual. That's okay. Whatever. I'm still your friend. Anyway. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Yep. Say goodbye. Hope you liked it. Hey, what'd you say, Hayden? I said hope you liked it. Yeah. Check out their channels. Whenever Hayden returns, go check out his. That's if he returns. Return, Hayden, sure. waiting for you is like. I will. D Hayden, your channel returning is like waiting for Half Life Three at this point. Oh. I love you too, Hayden. You're my wow. best friend. Oh my god, that was sick. Burn. Sick. Bur hey, anyway. that World Championship was full of sick burns, and many people got yeah. wrecked. Including Reggie. Oh, Reggie snapped back. Reggie's yeah. final comeback was the best one. I put sixteen out. I spent sixteen hours a day uh, working a company, and you spend sixteen hours a day playing Smash Bros. That's true. That's r Ow. using real life to kick his ass. But anyway, yeah. I'll ca let's call this a video. See you guys later.